hardly any lag at all. Today we're talking about how to film yourself for free on the Sony Creators app, which believe it or not is a new update to Sony Imaging Edge, which was an app which frustrated me. It had a kind of love-hate relationship with me and it would disconnect all the time. This app, fantastic. Even from like 10, 15 meters, it's still very fluid and it's free. It's completely free. Now, as you can see, it's on the big screen here and it, it just looks really, really nice. So if you're a YouTuber, if you're a filmmaker, you can use this app to film yourself and you don't have to buy a monitor or anything at all. Now, if I'm changing between the iPad and the iPhone or an Android, I will turn the camera off and turn it back on because otherwise it does sometimes have connection problems where it's connected to a different device. So I'm gonna record the screen so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And when you open up your app and you turn on your camera, you're met with this screen right here. This is a creator's app by Sony. At the bottom, you're gonna have a home, a camera, a file, and two little people, that's the profile. And if you press the camera, and you, at the top, you're gonna have a little cloud and a camera with a plus sign. If you press that, and in your menu, you go into the little globe at the bottom and go into control, PC remote, smartphone connection, press that, and it will bind them together. It's gonna to take, you know, about two minutes. It'll walk you through how to do it. It's really simple. Once you've done that, it's ready. And then you can go back and it's gonna be ready every single time you go in. Now, if we press remote shooting, right there, it's gonna check the camera response, check in camera status, and it will finally allow you to connect nice and quickly. It will say straight away, it is necessary to set Bluetooth to off in the smartphone when the movement of the shooting screen is not fluid. I haven't had that problem, but if you do have that problem, just you know, swipe down, turn your Bluetooth off, and you're done. Now, the great thing, let me show you this straight away, is that it has touch to focus, which makes any YouTuber very happy because in imaging Edge Mobile, that just didn't work. My review is a few years old on that um, tutorial, but it, it was very frustrating. At the top right-hand side, you can have a little touch to focus sign, and it's tracking really press the X and it will turn off. You'll have access to basically everything. Well, all the essentials, at least. You can even look, zoom, telly and wide. Isn't that fantastic? Now, even if you're on camera on your Sony ZV-1, because it will work with the FX30, the FX3, the A7 IV, the A7 R5, and hopefully the A7S3 and A1 when they update them, if you press the M, you can actually go into every single mode without touching anything on the camera. So we can go into photo mode. I'm in photo mode. We can go into SNQ manual. I'm in SNQ manual. I can go back into any single mode I want on this camera. So I will normally use the, where is it? The film camera with the M, so manual mode in film mode. And that's it. I can change everything. I can change the shutter speed. Look at that, charge speed. I can change the f-stop. I can change the ISO, I can change the metering mode if I want everything. It'll tell you how much battery is left, it'll tell you how much you have on your memory card, every single thing. Change the continuous focus, you can change the Kelvins, you can basically change anything you want. Now, if you put it sideways, as you can see, it's gonna turn sideways. Is there anything more you need? Well, if you go into menu, you have white balance, you have continuous autofocus, metering mode, touch the tracking, JPEG, type, movie format, date and time, live view quality if your phone is a little bit, you know, old. And at the very bottom, you're gonna have view mode only. So if you press that, it's gonna go into full screen mode. So you could have a whole full screen. If you press the X on the top left, ends view mode, great. Now, if we go back into the menu, at the bottom, you're gonna have grid line, rules of thirds, which is what I use. So it's got, you know, the rules of thirds, so I know if everything's nice and straight, and mirror mode, which is important because with mirror mode, if I have mirror mode off, and I'm filming myself, yeah? If I turn right on the actual screen, it will turn left. If I have auto on, if I turn right, my head goes right, it will go right on the actual application, which is, you know, normal. Otherwise, your brain's like, what the hell's going on? Emphasize record display. If that's on, if you go and press record, it will have a nice red rectangle around your screen so you know you're recording. So many great functions with such a simple free application from Sony, which has had an incredible overhaul. So it works fantastically, no lagging. Very, very happy.
with this app and it shows you it, it will show you if I look at myself it will show you eye focus right there it will show you face focus it, it will show you everything so you can record your screen and you know upload it to YouTube if you want and you can show where it's focusing and all that jazz great stuff Sony I hope the a7s3 and the a1 do get added to the um, list if you have any questions, comments down below. If you did like my film, please give it a like. That really does help. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And, you know, ring the bell. <sighs> Catch you on the next one. Oh, by the way, it's been on for two hours. Has not overheated. Not even once.